how to plot a graph when we get a unique solution. In the previous video, we had discussed how to plot a graph for parallel lines. So this is the graph for parallel lines which we got. You can go and check it out in the playlist of linear equations. Now let us come to this sum. This sum is taken from SCERT textbook, page number 87 from the chapter of pair of linear equations in two variables of class 10. From do this. So the question is, check each of the given system of equations to see if it has a unique solution, infinitely many solutions or no solution. This is one part of the question. We have to check whether it is unique solution, infinitely many solutions or no solution. How will you check? You know the conditions of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. By those conditions, we have to check this. Then, the second part of the question is, from the graph also we have to see what are the types of solution which we are getting based on the lines. So, to check, okay, first we'll check, how to check? Come, first, make these equations in standard form. So, 2x plus 3y is equals to 1 can be written as 2x plus 3y minus 1 is equals to 0. This is my first equation. Okay. <clears throat> and then I have 3x minus y is equals to 7. This can be written as 3x minus y plus 7. If it goes outside, it becomes minus 7 is equals to 0. Now both the equations are of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equals to 0. So I will compare equation 1 and 2 okay with a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equals to 0. Compare ma. a1 is equals to, what will be a1? Coefficient of x. What is a1? 2. Similarly, b1 is coefficient of y of the first equation. What is b1? 3. c1 is coefficient of first equation of constant. Okay. c1 is minus 1. Similarly, a2, b2, c2. So, what is a2i got? 3. What is B2I got? Minus 1. What is C2I got? Minus 7. Okay. Now, for find out what is A1 by A2. A1 by A2. A1 is 2. A2 is 3. 2 by 3. B1 by B2 is. B1 is 3. B2 is minus 1. 3 by minus 1 means if minus comes in denominator, it belongs to the whole fraction. So, B1 by B2 is minus 1 by 3. Then, C1 by C2 is. C1 is minus 1. C2 is minus 7. Minus and minus is getting cancelled. You are left with 1 by 7. So, if you observe, all 3 are unequal. If all 3 are unequal means we know for unique solution... If these both, we, uh, like if these both are unequal means it is unique solution. So what will we write? Since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Why are they not equal? 2 by 3 is not equal to minus 1 by 3. Okay, when this condition occurs, we know what type of solution is it? No, unique solution exists. And we know for unique solution we have... For unique solution, we have a uh, consistent system and lines are intersecting. Intersecting lines. So, this was the first part of the question where I had to see by the condition, by this condition, okay, of A1 by A2, B1 by B2, C1 by C2, whether the solution is unique, indefinitely many solutions, or no solution. Now we will solve the equations graphically that is the second part of the question the first equation was 2x plus 3y is equals to 1 okay we'll keep this y variable on this side and we'll send this x variable on the other side so 3y is equals to 1 as it is plus 2x if it goes outside becomes minus 2x now y is equals to 1 minus 2x by 3 this is the equation now in this equation i'll substitute different values of x and find out y so, for x is equals to 0, y is equals to 1 minus 2 into 0 by 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay. So, I got y is equals to 
वन बाय थ्री वॉट इज वन बाय थ्री इफ आई सी थ्री जीरो झा झीरो वन पट पॉइंट ब्रेक डाउन झीरो थ्री थ्री झा नाइन वन झीरो झीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सो आई गॉट फॉर एक्स इज झीरो वाय इज झीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सो आई एल सब्सिट्यूट फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस टू इंटू माइनस सेवन सो वाई इज इक्वल्स टू वन माइनस इंटू माइनस इज प्लस सेवन टू इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन बाय वन फोर्टीन प्लस वन इज फिफ्टीन वाई इज इक्वल सॉरी फिफ्टीन बाय थ्री सो वाई इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन बाय थ्री थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री फाइव जा फिफ्टीन सो आई गॉट फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव ओके सो आई एल सब्सिट्यूट हियर ऑल्सो फॉर फर्स्ट आई एल take y this side if i want to uh, i want positive value of y so i'll send this minus y that side and i'll uh, bring this plus 7 this side so y is equals to 3x as it is plus 7 if it brings this side it becomes minus 7 so i have this equation y is equals to 3x minus 7 here i can take any value i'll take here also 4x is equals to 0 y is equals to 3 into 0 minus 7 3 zeros are 0 0 minus 7 is minus 7 so i got 4x is equals to 0 y is equals to minus seven. Now I'll take for x is equals to minus two. I'll take so y is equals to three into minus two minus seven. Three two is a six minus six minus seven. Y is equals to minus thirteen. So for x is equals to minus two, y is equals to minus thirteen. Now I'll take for x is equals to plus two. So y is equals to three into two. Right minus seven y is equals to three two is a six six minus seven six minus seven is minus one so for x is equals to two y is equals to minus one I'll put all the x y points in a table so I'm going to plot these points of both the equations on a graph so if I observe the points I have till minus thirteen on the negative y axis and on the positive x axis I have the maximum value is minus seven okay so I can take One unit is equals to one centimeter only, since there are small values only till minus thirteen and minus seven on both x-axis and y-axis. Two, three, four, five, six. Here I need till minus seven on the x-axis. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, uh, minus nine, thirteen, minus ten, minus eleven, minus twelve, minus thirteen. Okay. And here on the positive y-axis, I want only till two, but I'll take till five. One, two, three. Four, five. Now let us plot the points. When x is zero, y is zero point three three. This so zero, y is zero point three three means here zero point one, zero point two, zero point three. This is the point. So zero comma zero point three three. Then I have the second point is when x is minus seven, y is five. When x is minus seven, y is five here. The next is minus seven. Y is five. Now I'll join both the points. Very carefully, and write the equation on the line. These points. The equation is two x plus three y is equal to one. Now. Now I'll plot the points for three x minus y is equals to seven. Points first point is when x is zero, y is minus seven. Y is minus seven means this is the point zero comma minus seven. Second point is when x is minus two, y is minus thirteen. When x is minus two, y is minus two is here. When x is minus two, y is minus thirteen. Means here, okay exactly. X is minus two, y is minus thirteen. So minus two. minus thirteen actually. One. Observe here I took zero negative value and positive value. Here I have taken only two values zero and minus seven. Uh, if I take two values only, I will get a straight line. That is why I have considered only 
uh, two points. You can also take three points also. And why I have taken minus seven here? Because if I am substituting minus seven here, seven two is a fourteen, and minus into minus is plus. Fourteen plus one is fifteen, and we you know fifteen is divisible by three. That is, I am getting a whole number when I take x is minus seven. That is why I have considered x is minus seven, and that is why I have not considered any other number like two, four, six, because it is easier to plot a whole number on the graph rather than plotting a decimal. That is why I have taken x is equals to minus seven. The third point is when x is two, y is minus one. X is two, y is minus one. This is the point. X is two, y is minus one. Join the points very carefully. Always draw long lines. I mean, uh, to say that it should intersect the axes x and y. Okay, in such a way that draw a line. Don't just draw till the point. See, I'm extending beyond this point. Okay, so what is my equation here? This line is for the equation three x minus y is equals to seven. So what did I get? What kind of lines I got? These both lines intersect at this particular point. That is, these both lines. This is my one line, and this is my another line. These lines are called as, as we know, these lines are called as intersecting lines, and these lines intersect at one particular point, and that point is unique, and that point is two comma minus one. I have to say in the question whether the, it was unique solution, infinite many solution, or no solution, and I had to also solve them. Okay, solve them. Solve them means find out the value of the solution. Lines are intersecting. Okay, solution is unique, and I also write the solution since I got the solution because they are intersecting at that point, and the unique solution is two comma minus one, and I can say solution is also consistent. Why consistent? Because we have a solution. Hope you understood how to plot a graph for unique solution and what kind of lines we get for unique solution. If you understood and if you like the video, subscribing to my channel and by sharing these video with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.